So we've done a, a few uh, handling practices where the goalkeeper stays square on to the, uh, the server. We're now going to look at uh, some variations um, because it's uh, more often than not the goalkeeper's in movement or has to rotate as the ball moves in, in a game um, before they set and deal with the ball. So we're going to first of all deal with a little bit of movement. So in this case we've got the square marked out here with the discs. We're going to use the four sides to start with. So we'll just ask the goalkeeper to just step over so he straddles the line facing the, uh, the, the, uh, the ball here, yeah, so straight up the pitch. Now as the goalkeeper starts to kick, he's just going to step across. Now as the goalkeeper starts to kick, that will give him more than enough time to get to the middle of the uh, square. Now of course you can cater the distances with the group you're working with uh, and the type of service you're using. But this sort of distance, just a yard, half a yard, should be enough. So Dom, just volley, you're looking to aim straight down the line, off we go. Good. So we're looking for that urgency. We want to be there as quickly as possible, so we've got more than enough time to set, be balanced and prepared for that shot. Yep. Good. Well done. Good. Good. And relax. Okay, come on in, change over. So we've traveled to the, uh, the right, we're now gonna travel to the left. From this side, as he starts to kick, over you go. Good. If the goalkeeper gets here with plenty of time and can wait, he'll be balanced. But make sure that you're aware that on occasions, you will get into position and you'll not only have to be set and neutral, but you'll have to stop your momentum going that way. So you may have to just check your movement slightly so that you're not drifting your weight onto your left foot. Okay. You'll see this in games, small-sided games, where the goalkeeper has to shift and set at the same time as stopping himself travelling. Good, relax. Okay, change over again. So now we're going to ask the goalkeeper to be in the back of the square. Um, a movement, probably not all that common, but will be needed at times. As the goalkeeper starts to kick, he's just going to step into the middle of the square, make sure the feet are level, deal with the ball. Good. Good. Not too far, just in between the two orange discs. Good. Whenever you're working with your goalkeepers, work within a, an area, a fixed area. So you may not have a goal, you may not have lines, it may be just a piece of grass. I'd encourage you to always work within an area. So in this case, we've got the four cones. And always encourage your goalkeepers to be at a certain point at a certain time. So that they're developing an awareness of space, developing an awareness of what's around them. So when they go into games, they've got that awareness to be in the right place at the right time. Okay, change. So this time the goalkeeper is going to start in the front of the square. Again, it's just a little shuffle back in preparation. Set. Let's go. Good. Encourage little steps. So what we because what we don't want to happen is to be one big step and he's releasing the ball. So if you just a little shuffle, gain as much space as you can. Let's go. Good. And there you are. You find yourself in the middle of the square as you are, which is where we're asking you to get to. Good. Change. Okay, this time, so we've done essentially the cross, backwards, forwards, traveling in from the left, traveling in from the right. Now we're going to start with each cone between our feet. We're looking to get a diagonal movement back into there. Now, because the distance is so short, we're not, we don't want the feet to cross. It's just a little shuffle back in there, quickly as you can. Start with your feet either side of the cone, so we've got a, a, a healthy distance. And this time we'll go around all four. So come to this one next, and then the back two as he starts to kick. Good, well done. Good. Good. Change. Yes. Good. Good. 
Good, excellent. I try and avoid uh, verbal commands or verbal triggers as much as possible. I like the goalkeepers to go off visual clues. So whether it be the goalkeeper simply starting to kick the ball, the goalkeeper bouncing the ball as a trigger, the ball being passed to the goalkeeper, try and use visual clue or visual triggers as much as possible. <laughs>